Hi Libra, this is Petra at IndigoTarot.club and I'm going to do a Celtic Cross reading for you for the month of October 2017 plus pull some additional cards from another deck for extra messages or verification and an overall advice card from the Ascended Masters Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. I've already shuffled and cut the cards Libra so I'm ready to get started. So for you Libra, I have the Three of Wands. Energy crossing you, I have the Queen of Swords. For some of you, this is your mom. <clears throat> Basis of the situation, I have the Ten of Cups. Immediate past, I have the Emperor. For some of you, that's your father. Crowning your thoughts, I have the Hanging Man. Coming in the immediate future, I have the Five of Pentacles. For how you see yourself, I have the Star. For your environment or how someone sees you, I have the Queen of Pentacles. For what you really want, I have the Two of Cups. For your outcome, I have the Ace of Cups. Additional outcome, I have the High Priestess and the Two of Wands. So for you, Libra, I have the Three of Wands. And what I'm feeling the most is that this is your third try to get with someone, the same person. You've been with them before, you broke up, been with them another time after that, broke up. You're going to, or you're thinking about it heavily, give it a third try in October. You're going to try to make this work between the two of you. For some of you, your mother is causing problems with this relationship that you have, this romantic relationship that you have. Your mother somehow is is cutting into it in some way. So she may be talking you out of dating this woman or she may have told you some lies in the past about this woman or this girl and that is why you've broken up with this person. So I feel like I'm talking to a male more than a, than a woman but of course it could, could be the other way around. For the basis of the situation I have the Ten of Cups. It feels like in the past for some of you you had two girlfriends at the same time. They didn't know about each other. And everything was really rosy between you and them. It doesn't feel like that's a situation right now. In the immediate past, I have the emperor. For some of you, this is your dad. This is a separate message. Your dad is going to have some bearing on you and your decisions when it comes to men. I feel like I'm talking to a younger woman. When it comes to the men in your life or the, the, the men that you choose, the guys that you choose to be your boyfriend, it feels like your father is going to have some bearing on it. He's having some bearing on it now or he has in the recent past. With the hanging man as your crowning thoughts, for some of you, the, your current boyfriend, your parents or one of your parents doesn't like something about him or her if it's a girlfriend. And so one or both parents are communicating with you every chance they get to try to bring up some point, something that this person's done in the past that could be deemed even slightly negative, to try to um, make a bucket full of reasons why you shouldn't be with this person or you shouldn't spend your energy on this person. For others of you, this person that you're seeing feels like they're in limbo because they feel like you're in control of the relationship more than they are. They feel like you have more say than they do. And it feels like they love you and care about you and want to support you more than you to them. For what's coming in the immediate future, I have the Five of Pentacles. For some of you, you're going to choose your boyfriend or girlfriend over your parents adamant wishes that you drop that person like a hot potato and they're going to kick you out and your boyfriend's going to have no choice but to beg his parents to let you stay there and you're going to stay there for some of you you're not going to go back to your parents house after this ha after this is has blown over over like four months possibly for others of you, you are going to go back. Your parents are going to are going to be begging you to come back, and they're going to 
apologize profusely. I feel like I'm talking to uh, women and men that are between the ages of 16 and 23, approximately. For how you see yourself, I have the star. Some of you, you're an actor or a model. And you're going to have some very good opportunities coming in in October. Or they came in in late September and you're going to take advantage of some of them, not all of them. And you're going to be very happy because of these jobs that you're going to do in October. So this is a separate, mostly separate message. For your environment or how someone sees you, I have the Queen of Pentacles. It feels like some of you are interested in this older woman. Um, they could be an earth sign, which is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And it feels like you feel like this person has, has it all together. And you're, you're, I want to say very much in love with this person, but you haven't told this person that, how you feel exactly. You're really digging this older female or male right now or in October. For what you really want, I have the two of cups. For some of you, you feel like this person could be your soulmate. And I feel like I'm talking to a younger male right now, mid-20s. You feel like this um, person or female is your soulmate. And you feel like a lot of times you all are on the same page about everything. Your beliefs about everything are almost identical. And one of the reasons you really like this person is because they're always very positive and supportive of you. They're never, never negative with you. So... For those of you who know what I'm talking about, it feels like this person is going to open up to you more in October about how they feel because for the outcome card, I have the Ace of Cups, which is total, complete emotional happiness, especially when it comes to love or things that make you feel very, very good. And with the surrounding card of the High Priestess and then the other card of the Two of Wands, for those of you that are in a relationship with this person who you feel could be like soulmate material or marriage material or even moving in together material, it feels like one or both of you are going to open up even more, open your hearts up even more to each other in October. And even though there may be some fear in both of you about being so vulnerable you're going to do it anyway because you feel so strongly about this person. And that's going to allow you to move up another notch, move up to the next level in your relationship. So this is a very positive outcome for you, Libra. I'm going to pull three more cards to get additional messages. Okay, very positive cards. I have the King of Wands, the Six of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. For some of you in the future, this person that you end up living with, you all are going to have three children. For some of you, this person that you're interested in may have some fire in their chart um, with these two wand cards, which is Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. There's a lot of passion and chemistry and energy, positive energy between the two of you. So it feels like you two can overcome anything together. It feels like you both have your heads on straight and that nothing can can overpower you or phase you like no obstacle can remain because with both of you together you can work out the solution. Both of you are very good at problem solving is what I'm hearing. So this is very positive for those of you that are dealing with romantic relationships the majority of these cards are very positive. I'm going to pull some extra cards, though, because of this situation over here with being kicked out. Okay. All right. I have the devil card for the hanging man, and that's those of you, again, with this boyfriend or girlfriend. Um, it feels like... For some of you, you may smoke together, drink together, or do drugs together. But then the other way I'm feeling this is that you you both love 
being very affectionate and sexual with each other. You're both very um, equally passionate towards each other. As far as the Five of Pentacles, for what's coming in the near future, for those of you that are going to be um, told to leave your house because you don't want to listen to your parents about this person, I pulled the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords. So for some of you, with the Seven of Wands, what I'm seeing is that when you move into this person's house, into your boyfriend's house or girlfriend's house, one of your quote unquote jobs there is going to be to keep the house clean and you like keeping a clean house. So you're not going to have any problem doing that in lieu of paying uh, rent. Okay. Some of you are also going to help with the grocery shopping as well. You're going to help the, the, the mother of your boyfriend or girlfriend do the grocery shopping. And she's going to be very appreci appreciative to have you around to help with that. I'm also hearing handyman so maybe there's some things you know how to do around the house again she and the husband are going to be very appreciative that you're able to help out with those things with the seven of swords it feels like if you're the person that your mom or dad or both told you to leave or kicked you out their relatives are going to be gossiping and talking about you to other relatives and then when they speak to you about this situation, they're going to make the, your parents feel so guilty for leaving you, for uh, not leaving you, but for pushing you out the door, so to speak, and letting the wolves, the wolves have at you or something like that. They're going to say things like, how could you do that to your own daughter or son? How could you throw them out when you know how terrible this world is and how dangerous it is how could you do that to your own child and they're going to they're going to make your parent or parents feel very guilty so for some of you you are going to go back to your parents house but for others of you you're just going to stay with your um boyfriend or girlfriend's parents at their house and they're going to be very very happy with you okay so now I'm going to pull a card for overall advice from the Ascended Masters Oracle cards. So what I pulled for you is come out of the closet. Let me read that to you. It's time for you to make your real feelings and beliefs known. This card asks you to reveal who you really are to yourself and others. This may involve having a heart to heart discussion with a loved one, or allowing other people to see your true nature. You will be spiritually supported in this process, and the Ascended Masters will help you to be lovingly honest. As a result of coming out of the closet, your relationships will deepen because you'll know that you're loved for who you really are. Additional meanings for this card. Let go of judgments about yourself or others. Speak your truth with love. Allow others to get to know the real you. Trust that your authentic self is lovable and likable. The more authentic you are, the higher the energy and success of all of your projects. Okay, Libra, I hope this reading helped you. I look forward to seeing you in November. Don't forget, if you would like to enter for a chance to win a full reading with me, all you have to do is go to my website and click the Enter Here tab. That's indigotarot.club. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. This is Petra at indigotarot.club.